Hello everyone, my name is Taichi Masu. I am currently a science communication researcher at Doshisha University in Kyoto, Japan. And at the same time, I am practicing science communication as a TV news anchor. Hello everyone, I am Yasuhito Abe, Associate Professor of Media and Communication at the Department of Media, Journalism and Communication at the Faculty of Social Studies at Doshisha University. My research focuses on media communication, citizen science, and popular culture. We are both conducting a joint research project on the characteristics of Japanese commercial television as a means of science communication, with a particular focus on its impact on the low science interest segments of the population. And today we are going to talk about our co-authored essay, Bridging Research and Practice, Insights from Collaborative Science Communication Research on Japanese Television. In this essay, we describe our research project and reflect upon what we learn from each other. In Japan and perhaps elsewhere, science communication practice and research are often disconnected from media communication research. Plus, media practitioners and scholars are not always fully connected. So, we are trying very hard to bridge the gap between these fields, both in research and practice. I am both a science communication researcher and a TV practitioner. After getting my master's degree in agriculture, I spent 16 years working at a TV station. Uh, even though I transitioned to being a researcher in 2022, I'm still working as a news anchor. For the past two years, we have been working on research on Japan Archipelago Blue Carbon Project, a media campaign by Japanese commercial television. That campaign aims to raise awareness about the relatively new scientific concept of blue carbon, carbon stored in marine ecosystems. Now we are exploring how media workers collaborated with scientists to create these TV programs, all the while facing with the pressure of ratings. Honestly, without Taichi's experience and connections, I wouldn't have considered the possibility of interviewing people like media workers and scientists in Japan. And for me, without meeting Yasuhito, I wouldn't have thought of studying the practical knowledge I had gained at the TV station through the lens of media communication research. Uh, so, in this video, we would like to share why this joint research is so important for both the practitioners and researchers. I've learned a lot from Tai Chi. First off, the issue of ratings. As a media practitioner from Japanese commercial television, Tai Chi brought up ratings as a key factor in choosing which blue carbon TV programs to focus on for our research project. To me, uh, his perspective was quite new. That's precisely because I was trained as a media and communication scholar and uh, I'm likely to choose a research object based on a different criteria, such as generalizability. But uh, his focus on ratings made perfect sense. That's precisely because there's little points in analyzing a program that very few people watched regularly when we considered its reach and impact. The second thing that I learned from Tai Chi is the importance of speed. During the data collection process, Tai Chi often emphasized the need to interview media workers right after the program was aired. That's precisely because 
their attention shifts to next project very quickly. So if we wait too long, they may uh, forget what they did in the previous program. And in retrospect, he was absolutely right. And I've also learned a lot from Yasuhito. Uh, my research design for science communication practice didn't originally include capturing the complex aspects of TV program production. Uh, what's more, Yasuhito brings a fresh perspective that's completely free of bias. Uh, having worked in television for so long, I've become aware of my own unconscious bias, especially when doing qualitative research. Uh, for example, uh, when Yasuhito interviews TV producer, he asks a basic, but for me, very insightful question. Uh, he said, why do you always need to come up with something new? Uh, it may be a reasonable question for many people, but for those of us in media, it is something we take for granted. So such question wouldn't even cross our minds. Science communication researchers and media studies scholars as well haven't always produced the insight that media practitioners actually need. On the other hand, media practitioners haven't always paid attention to research findings. But our joint research project aims to bridge that gap, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we believe our collaborative approach effectively connects the practice and research of science communication. I'd like to emphasize a significant role of television in science communication by connecting the two. TV reaches a wide audience, including people who might not actively seek out scientific information. And even with the rise of digital platforms like YouTube, uh, which you are watching now, uh, television remains a key source of scientific information in Japan, and perhaps elsewhere. Yes, exactly. We should keep going. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are interested, please check out our essay. We'd be happy to discuss more about science communication and television. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Sayonara. Bye-bye.